Hey, it's the Terminion Hero here, and we're playing some more The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I wonder if Saria knows anything about the other spiritual stone. I don't know why she would, but I guess let's ask her. You want to talk to Saria, right? Link, this is Saria. Can you hear me? Are you collecting spiritual stones? You have one more to find. You mean the spiritual stone of water, don't you? The great Deku Tree once told me that King Zora, ruler of the Zora's domain, has it. Do you want to talk to Saria again? Not right now. Alright, so Zora's domain then. Hyrule Field. Alright, well, we could go over to Zora's Domain and... You know, it's pretty close by, so maybe we should. There is something I kind of want to pick up over here real quick. So let's go do that. But I kind of want to do some exploring in this video. I mean, we still can't collect everything throughout the world, but we can definitely collect a good amount of things. Zora's River. Watch out for swift current and strong undertow. Yeah, there's so much things we can get both now and later that, like, it's hard to keep track of, so I kind of want to whittle away at that list so it's easier to keep track of what I have and haven't done yet. So anyways, this is Zora's River. And there's an owl here. Hoo-hoo, it looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's Domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoo hoo hoot. Yeah, so play Zelda's lullaby. Got it. Anyways, this tree has a sculptula. So we've got that. There's boulders here that we can get out of the way. Well, that didn't help very much. Let's try placing one here. Well, you know, that's good enough. So, I see butterflies. Let's try this out. Also, we're in a circle of stones, and my controller is vibrating. I'm pretty sure that there's something you can do with butterflies with a Deku stick. I'm not entirely sure why it's not working. Come on, butterflies, do whatever it is you do. I mean, I know what you do, I just don't know why you're not doing it. Whatever, let's bomb our way into this grotto. Look out, cuckoo. Oh. Maybe we can't get into this grotto yet. That must be one where we have to play the song that gets you into Garados. Anyways, this soft soil spot is unique because it's the one soft soil spot that doesn't have a golden sculptula in it. So we're not going to put our bugs there. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one piece? Sure. 
thing. They're not selling very well, so he's just selling them for 10 rupees. You got a magic bean. Find a suitable spot for a garden and plant it with C, then wait for something fun to happen. On the select item subscreen, you can, yeah. If you want to plant beans, go around and look for soft soil. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Can we get some more of those? Because I know a good amount of spots with soft soil. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? Well, they're not that popular yet. How about 20 rupees for one piece? Because we're making them more popular by buying them, he's raising the price. How about another? Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They are getting to be quite popular. 30 rupees for one piece. How about it? Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They're all the rage. 40 rupees for one piece. Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have the popular magic beans. You'll regret it if you don't buy them now. 50 rupees for one piece, just for now. Because you're gonna raise your prices now that I bought another one. Which means I can't afford anymore. So yeah, we could plant a bean here, but... That soft soil is right by the guy who sells magic beans, so... Let's make sure we have, you know, magic beans for the soft soil spots that we find ahead first. You are an Octo Rock. Bounce back the rocks they spit at you. I mean, I could do that. Or I could just shoot you with my slingshot. Because I don't really want to switch back to my Deku shield. We've got another enemy up here. It's a blue Tektite. It's hard to beat on the water. Lure it onto the land. So yeah, blue Tektites are the aquatic Tektites, I guess. I have just realized a mistake I'm making, but you know what? I'm going to keep going for now because it's nighttime and nighttime is kind of important here. I mean, we have the sun song though, so I guess it doesn't matter. Even so, though, I would like to do this real quick while I can. I kind of want to go up and down this place a few times, but yeah. There's a Skulltula here that would only be out at night. Uh, another Golden Skulltula down. It looks like there's a Gossip Stone down there. And we could explore this place a little more right now, but first, let's go on an adventure. Can we even do this right now? Oh, I can't dive deep enough to go through that passage. Okay, well never mind then. Let's explore more of Zora's River. There's some rupees in the river. Which is nice, we might be able to buy another magic bean before too long. So that way we can't really climb onto that ledge, so let's go around this way. There seems to be an interesting log here, some frogs are looking at you from underwater. All right, I'll investigate. I see that frog over there. Let's play some music for him.
Young lad, you play the ocarina well. Mmm, that melody is so fine, Ribbit. We all should practice it, Ribbit. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it, Ribbit, Ribbit. So yeah, you got a purple rupee. That's 50 rupees. These frogs award us with purple rupees when we play music for them. Each one reacts to a different note, and one of them grows when we play a new song. So let's play another one for them. So we did Zelda's Lullaby, now we've done Epona's song. And I'm pretty sure he's just gonna say the same thing here. Yeah, okay. So if we get another 50, we'll max out our money and we'll waste 4 rupees, so let's head back for now and buy some more magic beans. Then we'll play the other songs we have when we get back up to this guy, up to those frogs rather. Owl! Why are you back? I never left the loading zone. What are you doing here? I knew that he respawned if you left the loading zone, but I didn't leave the loading zone. Oh well, whatever. Anyways, let's buy some more magic beans now. Chomp chomp chomp, these are the super popular magic beans, in case you're wondering, they'll soon be sold out. Super price, 60 rupees for one piece. Chomp chomp chomp, we have the super rare magic beans. This could be your last chance. Special price, 70 rupees for one piece. And now we can't afford anymore. So let's grab a chicken and get going. So this chicken's gonna help us with a few things, but he can get away from us easily. So we've got to be careful about that. First of all, this piece of heart up here. We jump over this way and then drop our chicken at the right time, we can climb up. Thankfully, our chicken didn't get away, so we can keep using him. But we drop him when we get the piece of heart, so he probably get away now. Yeah, he's gone. Oh well, we're up here now, so we can go play some more music for the frogs, get some more money, and buy some more magic beans. With Saria's song, that'll give us another 50 rupees. And we can get another 50 with the Sun song. Yep, you got a purple rupee, that's 50 rupees. <laughs> so now let's head back, get our chicken back, maybe talk to the owl again. 
since that seems to be how things are going. Nice, I made that jump. The owl doesn't appear to be here, though. Our chicken doesn't appear to be here either. But at the very least, we can buy more magic beans. Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have the legendary magic beans. I'll sell them only to you. Super price, 80 rupees for one piece. You got the magic bean. Find a suitable spot for a garden and plant it with C. Then wait for something fun to happen. And we will start that now. We've got plenty of magic beans now, so let's actually plant one here. Why did it just put the bugs there? I said magic beans, please. And we've got a little sprout that doesn't really do too much for us right now, but it will in the future. For now, it looks like our chicken is over here. Yeah, it didn't just fly away and end up back where it spawns. That's interesting. Anyways, there's two more places we want to take this chicken. Let's start by going up to the end of this path, even though it'll probably make the owl respawn. Because from here, we should be able to reach that piece of heart. Where did he go? I think he actually flew away this time. That's a shame. That means I'm probably actually going to have to talk to the owl again. Is there a way I can avoid that? Because he's going to try talking to me if I go over to this corner, isn't he? Yeah, he's up there. Alright, I avoided him. Don't have enough rupees for our more beans, so let's just not worry about it. Now the final place we want to take the chicken. I just barely made that jump. But the final place we want to take him is right over this way. We don't need this chicken anymore. We just climb up here. And there should be some interesting stuff up here. And also another chicken, apparently. So there's a gossip stone over there. There's a grotto over here. What could be in this chest? 20 rupees. I mean, we're almost to the point where we could buy another bean. But then over at this rock here. Ah! 
there is yet another Garado. Which has a fairy's fountain. Uh... I don't have room for a fairy. I mean, fairies are nice because they're instant full heals when you die. But right now, my milk is worth more than that, assuming I'm ready to use it. Anyways, I would say let's actually get over to Zora's domain now. I don't need this chicken anymore. Get out of here. So up here, sleepless waterfall. The flow of this waterfall serves the king of Hyrule. When the king slumbers, so too do these falls. And there we go, we can get in now. Zora's Domain. And these Zoras are not the same kind of Zoras from previous games. Zora's Domain. But yeah, the Zoras from the previous games were enemies and they looked very different from these kind of Zoras. I'm not sure if this is fan terminology or if it's official, but, like, these Zoras are referred to as Sea Zoras, whereas the enemy Zoras are referred to as River Zoras. I don't really like that naming scheme, because sometimes River Zoras can be found in the sea, and sometimes Sea Zoras can be found in the river. So I don't like that naming scheme, but they are, like, two separate species that are both called Zoras. We even get to see both types in one of the Oracle games. Like, both types in one game. Anyways. Who are you? We are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So, you say you have some connection with Hyrule's royal family. Well, what do you want from us? Well, I want to investigate this controller rumbling, but I don't think I can do anything here. No, I need a song for that hole. So what's up with you? We haven't found Princess Rudo, even though some of us have searched as far as Lake Hylia. A princess has gone missing. And now there's a little hole down there. Have you seen Lord Jabu Jabu? No. Oh, oh that's not good. Everybody who comes around here should see Lord Jabu Jabu at least once. Zora's fountain is just beyond King Zora's throne. That is where Lord Jabu Jabu swims, but... Unless you have King Zora's permission, you can't go to Zora's fountain. Uh, how about yes? According to the Legend of Zora, the act of offering a fish to Lord Jabu Jabu will make you happy. Alright, so some interesting information about this Jabu Jabu creature. So there's a hole there, we can't dive that deep. Behind this waterfall, there's some torches. Got a Zora over here. Zora's fountain is the source of the river. Lord Jabu Jabu lives in the fountain. 
Lord Jabu Jabu is the patron deity of the Zoras. Princess Rudo is in charge of preparing his meals morning and night. How about here? We've got Zora Shop. We have fresh fish. I want to buy a fish, but they are a little too expensive. I have no choice but to catch one of the fishes that's swimming around out there. Welcome. If you want to buy fish, you need a container to put them in. So there's Deku nuts, arrows, red potion. There's a fish that's 200 rupees. That's too expensive when they're so easy to catch. The Zora tunic here for 300 rupees, a tunic made by Zora's, adult size, prevents you from drowning underwater. Well, I couldn't get that even if I could wear it. So I don't have a big enough wallet for that. So yeah, if you look in these pots here, there is a Deku stick to help us with that torch puzzle. Are there any other Zoras around here I can talk to right now? There doesn't appear to be, so let's just head on up. Just ahead, King Zora's chamber. Show the proper respect. King Zora's throne room. To hear the king's royal proclamation, stand on the platform and speak to him. Oh, my dear sweet Princess Rudo, where has she gone? I'm so worried. So yeah, we can't get past the king right now to go to Zora's fountain, and this princess sounds like she's in trouble. At least she's missing. High dive practice spot. Are you confident in your diving skill? Maybe. Diving game. 20 rupees. Want to play? Sure. Okay. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, Come back here, I'll give you something very nice. Start! So we've got 50 seconds to do this. And we got one from that dive right there. Looks like there's five total to get, and they're all blue rupees, so that would be... 25 rupees, so we paid 20 rupees to play, right? So that'd be a profit of 5. Hey, congratulations! I've got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Alright. If I talk to you... can be hard to keep track when they just pop up out of nowhere. Let me talk to you! We Zoras all serve the great King Zora. It was very worth talking to that person. Anyways, I do want to get my Deku sticks out so I can solve the torch puzzle, but let's get our reward from this guy first. What a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. You got the silver scale. Jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. 
So before when we dived, we could there was like a countdown, three, two, one. But now the countdown will start at six. So we can dive twice as far as we could before. But we'll do that in a second. First torch puzzle. So this torch here will stay lit. When you see torches or when you see torches that look like this, that means they'll stay lit. Whereas these kind of torches will not. So we've got to light these torches before that first one goes out. And, you know, before our stick burns up. And that gets us a treasure chest. A big one, which means it's important. What could it give us? You got a piece of heart. We just need one more to increase our max health again. But yeah, now that we can dive deeper, we can get down into this passage. And we're at Lake Hylia. I am Azora. Have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into this lake. So yeah, down there's the hole we swam out of. And if we dive down here, we can get some rupees, and it looks like there's something else down there. What's that? I guess we're about to find out. I figured I wouldn't get to it in that dive. You got an empty bottle. Put something inside and use it with... See, what? Something's already inside? Well, then I guess it's not a very empty bottle now, is it? So there seems to be something interesting down there. We'll get there later. For now, let's just look around Lake Hylia. I feel like this is a good chance to explore now. I am Bonoru, the Scarecrow musical genius. I hear a song once and I never forget it, baby. Well, we'll play a song for him in a little bit. My name is Pierre, the Wandering Scarecrow. Actually, I wish I could wander to look for soul-moving sounds, but I'm kind of stuck here. Yeah, we already talked to Saria about this. Anyways, we'll play for this one right now. Fantastic tune, it touches my heart. If you come up with a nice song, come back and let me hear it. Yeah, so there's nothing really to do with this guy. There is something to do with this guy, but I'm gonna need a moment off screen before I actually do anything with that guy. For now, I wanna head over here. Fishing pond. The fish are really biting today. So yeah, here's the fishing pond. Since it's changing between day and night, there should be a frenzy going on, meaning the fish are gonna go crazy. The biggest fish ever caught in this pond weighed six pounds. The angler, the pond owner. So 
So our goal here is gonna be to catch a 10 pound fish. 10 or more. Well, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Sure. Wow, you have a rumble feature. Today you can feel the vibration, young man. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press L to look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B. Press A to break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with the control stick. If you're a novice, you can also use B. Reel in your lure with A. Hold down A and R to reel it in faster. If you feel a hit, press A and control stick down to set the hook. After that, reel it in with A. Do you understand? I hope so. It's been a long time since I've done this. I'm so generous, I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can keep only one fish. The biggest fish ever caught here weighed six pounds. After you cast, you can change your view with L. Let's fish. Rules and regulations. 1. Don't use sinking lures. 2. Don't litter. 3. Walk quietly. So I don't want to get into the water and scare the fish right now, because then the fish will all move. They'll usually move towards the deeper part. Instead, what I would like to do right now... Oh my gosh, it's never going to unlock, is it? I want to go into first person, please. What I want to do is I want to get over to that log, I think. I'm so going to scare that fish, though. But yeah, the fish here always spawn in the same place. And the biggest fish always starts in the center. You can see it there. So let's hope I do this right. Yeah, the fish are going crazy. This is definitely during a frenzy. That's not the fish I wanted. Oh my gosh! Please get the big fish. Please. I legitimately didn't even reel it in. I literally didn't have to reel in at all. He jumped into the lure and immediately jumped close enough that I didn't even have to set my hook. What the heck? This whole fishing thing was always so frustrating for me when I played it before, but I recently read up some strategies on this. And now the fish are literally just jumping into my lap. Wow, this is a real lunker. Let's see, it weighs 10 pounds. Do you want to keep it? Yes! I do want to keep it. This went unbelievably well. I'm not spending like a half an hour plus on this. What do you want? Weigh my fish, or let's talk about something. Let's talk to him. You want to try another lure? What are you talking about? Are you so selfish? Don't you know the old saying, a great fisherman never chooses his own lure? What, do you want to know some fishing secrets? I can't tell you any. They are company secrets, seriously. Beep. 
What? You want to know if I'm a good fisherman? Of course I am. I'm an old pro. Do you know what a pro is? I'm telling you the truth. And now he's just repeating himself. Okay, weigh my fish. Whoa! This fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 10 pounds. Seriously. Okay, here's your prize. You got a piece of heart. You've completed another heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased. So yeah, now we have eight total hearts. And now let's quit. Come back when you get older, the fish will be bigger too. Well, maybe. So I should have just enough rupees to go for the Hylian Loach, which isn't important. But I would like to do it, and I'll at least attempt it in this video. So every four times you pay for fishing, the Hylian Loach should appear. Hey, hey, you can't take the rod out of here. When you quit fishing, return the rod to the counter. I'm serious. Passion alone won't catch you many fish. I'm serious. Let's try one more time here. This fourth one should theoretically be a Hylian Loach if I know what I'm talking about. Or they should spawn now. A Hylian Loach only, only spawns every four times you pay. Plus you have to have already caught the 10 pound fish. I'm pretty sure. Also, if you've caught a 10-pound fish, you can look for the sinking lure as long as you don't go into the water or cast before going for the lure. Or I think as long as you don't cast. There's four places it can pop up. And I'm not 100% sure where they are. I would have looked it up before doing this video, but there was kind of a storm going on, so I don't actually have internet access right now. I paid the money, so I would really like to actually do this. Actually, I don't think the loach can be caught with the sinking lure. Not right now, anyways. What are you locking on to exactly? Is the loach there and I just can't see it? No, that just looks like a normal fish. Yeah, there's a normal fish back there. I'm pretty sure I've... I'm not sure if I've ever actually caught the Hylian Loach before.
I'm so gonna screw this up. Apparently there's another place with lilies. But I don't see it. Oh, it's so hard to see. The loach isn't down there, is it? There should be two loaches here right now. Unless it was random which one of the four attempts had the loach. Maybe it was on another one of my payments here. Whatever, I'll just go for it. I don't even... I don't even know if... The, if the loach is here. So this is a small fry. Well, well, it's about four pounds. No, I don't want to keep it. Like, at this point, I'm just curious if the loach is even here. I can catch it in another video. Maybe do a bonus video where I catch the loaches. I mean, there's a big fish here, but he doesn't look like the loach. Because the loach kind of looks like an eel. This is like a normal fish here. Wow, this is a real lunker. Let's see, it weighs 11 pounds. I guess I'll keep it. I'd prefer the loach, though. That looks like a normal fish. Yeah, I'm not seeing any loach. I'll try going on this log and seeing if I can look deeper into... into this place, because... typically... you know, when a fish gets scared, they go to the deep water. And the loach sometimes starts in the deep water. Okay, I'm not seeing them. Yeah, I think I'll just have to catch the loach in a bonus video. Because I don't really want to waste too much time on that. But we did catch a fish that breaks our record, so... Might as well turn it in. Get a nice 20 rupees that pays for my entry. At least one of my entries. The biggest fish ever caught in this pond weighed 11 pounds. The angler link. All right. Huh. 
So I guess the next thing I want to do is go check out that house. I'm not going to forget about this scarecrow. I just want to deal with him after, you know, a between video break. And over here, we've got one of these soft soil spots, so that means there's two things we're going to want to use here. Going to want to use some bugs to get a Sculptula. Make sure not to lose our bugs. And we're going to want to plant a seed here. And now, what is this place? The Lakeside Laboratory. Daily trying to get to the bottom of the mystery of the mysteries of Lake Hylia. Lake scientist. So here in the Lakeside Laboratory. Hello there, son. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Hylia's water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you've met that old lady from the potion shop. She is like a student of mine. Ho ho ho. So here we've got like a measuring thing, measuring how far we dive. Can't quite get to the bottom here. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You dove six meters just now. You should be able to dive deeper. All right. And I think I'm gonna end the video here. So we'll head back out into Lake Hylia and do some more exploring around Hyrule. And, you know, probably go to King Zora here in the next video. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.